Each of us are great fans of the Street Fighter franchise. We as a community love and cherish the arts and characters that Street Fighter give us. The variety of characters make us pick our favorites for battle. We might know their moves and their style of play, but do we know their background story? In this episode, we're going to focus on the story of Ryu. What is his background and where is he now? You might be in for a surprise. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. Ryu was orphaned when he was a young child and has no memory of his parents or whether they are alive. He was found and adopted by a man named Goken, who raised Ryu in a secluded dojo and trained Ryu in the ways of his martial arts. Sometime afterwards, Goken would later train his best friend's spoiled son. Ken Masters. Ken served not only as a sparring partner, but also gave Ryu a friend in the form of a boy of his own age. Ryu looked up to Goken as a father figure and regards Ken as his best friend and surrogate brother, a relationship which remains to this day. When Ryu turned 23 years old, Goken believed that Ryu was ready to travel the world in order to test and hone his martial skills against the best fighters from around the world. After Ryu and Ken's training was complete, Ken casually asks Ryu, which of the two will be recognized as a reputable martial artist first? While Ken goes to the USA, Ryu enters the World Warrior Tournament and travels to Thailand alone in order to face Sagat, the Emperor of Muay Thai, which is said to be the strongest martial art, the first World Warrior Tournament. In Street Fighter 1, Ryu is one of the participants of the World Warrior Tournament. After defeating all of the challengers, he knew he couldn't just challenge Sagat as an unknown fighter, so Ryu created a plan to put Sagat in a situation where he can't refuse his challenge. Sagat heard Ryu and his fighting spirit burned. He told Ryu that he'll show him real Muay Thai and the two would clash. Ryu, however, defeats Sagat with a nearly fatal Shoryuken that not only knocks Sagat unconscious, but also marks his chest with a great scar. After regaining consciousness and discovering what had happened, Sagat swears vengeance on Ryu. In the Street Fighter Alpha series, Ryu, after becoming the strongest fighter in the world, encounters and fights Akuma on a secluded island known as Gogento and wins. However, Akuma was only testing him and senses that Ryu has the same powers as he does. He proceeds to tell Ryu about the Satsui no Hado, a power that consumes the practitioners of their shared fighting style, driving them to win even when it means killing the opponent. Akuma then uses his fist to smash the island, leaving Ryu stranded. Sometime after escaping the island, Ken finds Ryu. He asks Ken what it means to be a true fighter. He wonders if he should use the same fist he used to defeat Sagat or the one Akuma uses to murder people. Ken sees that Ryu's is gone back to his usual bad habit of overthinking things and fights him as an attempt to wake him up. After defeating Ryu, Ken realizes that he has been deeply troubled since his last victory over Sagat. He reminds Ryu to keep fighting in order to find the answers and gives him his red hairband and that whenever he feels lost, he should use it as a reminder of their fight and to keep fighting to find the answer. Ryu happily takes the headband and they both go their separate ways. Soon thereafter, a fan of his named Sakura comes up and expresses her desire to train under him. Ryu replies that he himself still has much to learn about, but allows Sakura to take a picture of him for now. At some point, Ryu is found by Sagat, who is out for a grudge match. Ryu protests that Sagat hasn't fully recovered from their last bout, but Sagat persists. Ryu lets Sagat win rather than do any further damage, and Sagat leaves. Only later, Upon reflection, does Sagat realize that Ryu held back, vowing to fight him again? Ryu continues to be troubled by what Akuma had told him, compounded by his encounter with Rose, who has intricate ties to M. Bison. She tells him that he cannot defeat Bison unless he fights him at the cost of his soul. True to form, when Ryu confronts Bison, he is defeated despite putting up a valiant fight. Bison takes the semi-conscious Ryu and begins brainwashing him, using the revelation that the Satsui no Hado is akin to Bison's own psycho power. This scene is interrupted by the entrance of Sagat, Ken, and Sakura. While Ken and Sakura distract Bison, Sagat fights the brainwash Ryu, quickly noticing the effects Bison's brainwashing has had on him. At Sagat's urging, Ryu comes to his senses to confront and defeat Bison, destroying him temporarily. In Street Fighter 2, during the World Warrior Tournament, 
Ryu enters to test his skills and defeats many of the new warriors. He encourages Ken to re-enter as well. It is said, it is unknown how far Ryu himself progressed in the tournament. It is also said that Ryu, avoiding Bison's flaming remnants after his body was destroyed by Akuma, hinting that Ryu made it to the finals. In Street Fighter 4, after the second World Warrior Tournament, Ryu continued his journey and ended up in an isolated desert where he trained. Ryu then remembers his argument with Akuma, with Akuma urging Ryu to give into the Dark Hado, or else he will kill him. Ryu then leaves the desert and goes to a bar where he meets a biker. The biker then tells him a story about an American martial arts champion who abandoned his family. Believing it to be Ken, Ryu visits the house of the said champion, but it's ambushed by Sea Viper. Suddenly, the Delta Red agent Kami then attempts to ambush Sea Viper. However, Kami was also no match for Viper, and Viper then tortures Kami, which the Dark Hado then takes over Ryu and engages Sea Viper, but would easily defeat her. Luckily for Viper, she manages to escape the possessed Ryu. Angered, Ryu then slaughters multiple SIN scientists, who witness the fight until Ken and Sakura arrive to save Ryu and help Kami. Sakura would then retain the possessed Ryu as Ken calls the hospital to help Kami. Ryu would then regain his consciousness and realize what he has done. After being sent to Ken's mansion, Ryu realizes he has been targeted by SIN and its leader Seth for their evil plans. With Gauss's plans to infiltrate Seth's cruise ship to incarcerate him, Ryu then tags along knowing that Seth would be waiting for him. After traveling to the base, Ryu and Ken then dispatch multiple SIN thugs before Ryu encounters Seth himself. Ryu and Seth then engage, with Seth easily overpowering Ryu and giving him his twisted philosophy of power. Ryu then admits that he never understood what power is, and that he understands Seth's philosophy by stating that the power he describes is not what he's after. Seth, unamused, continues beating up Ryu before Ryu awakens a new power and nearly kills Seth with it. Ryu then collapses from this power. A few days later, Ryu and Ken then part ways, with Ryu stating that they will meet again. On the continuation of Street Fighter 4, Ryu then enters into a new tournament to further master his skills as well as reunite with his long mate friend, Ken, for another rematch. During his journey, he meets up with Sakura, whom he encouraged to train harder. Meanwhile, Ryu also meets up with Sagat once more. The two fight, and while the result of the fight is unknown, it is implied that Ryu won. During the final round with the tournament host Seth, actually a copy of him, he defeats him in the SIN headquarters. During and after this battle, the building fell around them as Ryu unleashed the Satsui no Hado on the Blaze machine, a weapon of mass destruction developed by SIN that harnessed the energy in the human body. During this event, Sakura, who has been searching for Ryu, finds him and the Blaze machine, and a pulse of energy from it knocks her into a wall. Ryu defends her by unleashing a Shoryuken on the machine, and they leave the building together, the weapon destroyed. He then encounters Goken, who has in fact survived his last battle with Akuma, and Goken uses the power of nothingness to seal the Satsui no Hado, which is eating at Ryu, knocking him unconscious. Akuma then arrives on the scene to challenge his brother for a death duel, the winner of which will claim Ryu. The outcome of the duel is unknown, but since Ryu is later seen free of the Dark Hado's influence, it is very likely that either Goken won or the battle ended in a draw, possibly interrupted. Later, Ryu and Ken chase their long lost master along a cliff face, with Ken wanting Goken to stick around while Ryu wishes him well. Afterwards, he and Ken are walking through the desert while Rufus mocks them on his motorcycle, though it later breaks down and he is left pushing it while Ryu and Ken drive by in Ken's jeep. Ryu later bids Sakura farewell as she, Dan, and Blanca leave for a home on a cruise ship. Sometime later, having decided that his battles have made him stronger, he meets a no older Sakura. What happens next is unknown. Although Goken might have taught Ryu the Shin Shoryuken and the Denji Hadoken at some point before Street Fighter 3. In Street Fighter 5, Ryu in his dream is fighting against his evil self, claiming to him that the power to kill will make him stronger which he ultimately rejects. Goken is in a sparring match during the incident. Ryu charges himself into the Satsui no Hado and attempts to hit his master with a single Hadoken. It explodes in a flash of light. Ryu wakes up from his dream with Goken telling him that the Satsui no Hado almost consumed him. Rashid and Asam find Ryu, introducing himself as a hero who travels the world. Goken questions Rashid why he comes to see Ryu. Rashid states he wants to challenge Ryu in a match, which is to test his mettle. Ryu doesn't immediately get up to fight, worrying about the Satsui no Hado. 
which confuses Rashid and has Gokin questioning him why he didn't do it, citing Ryu's quote, the answer lies in the heart of battle. Ryu eventually gets up and spars with Rashid, resulting in a victory. Rashid learns from the fight about himself. He thanks Ryu for the lesson and leaves. Ryu decides that he should leave too, and better understand his power. Gokin tells Ryu to meet Ken, who has been concerned about him. Ryu and Ken finally meet in Brazil. Ken was told by Gokin about Ryu's struggle with the Satsui no Hado, and thinks a good match can solve it. Afterwards, Ryu still worries about the Satsui no Hado. Ken reassures Ryu that if Ryu falls over to the dark side, he'll take him down and stop it. Ken tells Ryu to just relax and fight. Ryu goes to China and gets ambushed by a Shadow Lu soldier. Nash comes in and takes down the soldier. Nash expected to see Ryu, which triggers a bit of Satsui no Hado within him. Nash says that they have to fight so he can understand the power and know its limits. The fight ultimately ends in a draw. Nash is surprised by the power, having it surpass his expectations. Ryu tells him that he tries to suppress the power and struggles with it, but has decided to not let it take him over, which Nash respects. Ryu thanks him for the fight and Nash leaves. A shadow falls. Ryu meets with Dalsum and says he is still struggling with the Satsui no Hado and needs help. They decide to have a spar. After the spar, Dalsum tells him that suppressing the power will eventually lead the power to consuming him. He tells him that he needs to face the Hado and conquer it. Nikali drops down from above, looking to consume fighters' souls. Dalsum defends Mahesh, while Ryu fights Nikali. Nikali overpowers Ryu, which almost triggers his dark power. Dalsum takes Ryu's punch, proclaiming that he cannot let the Hado take him over. Dalsum fights off Nikali. Ryu notices a black moon veering over and blocking the sun, which gives him visions of M. Bison. Nikali eventually melts away temporarily. He is told about Nikali by Dalsum, telling him that Nikali is an ancient being that consumes warriors' souls and only appears when many warriors are needed in a crisis. Ryu concludes that the world is in crisis because of the Black Moons. Ryu finally joins up with Ken, Chun-Li, and Garing as they team up to make a final assault against Shadow Lu. As Chun-Li defeats Fang while rescuing Li Fen, Ryu finally faces off against Bison, who is ready to challenge him, and Ryu states that his strength was to push forward and he is ready to fight him too. After an epic long battle, Bison isn't giving up yet, until Ryu hits him with the Hadoken, infused with the power of nothingness, seemingly hinting at Ryu's mastery of the power and sublimation of the Satsui no Hado. Bison's body begins to crack as it dissipates in a flash of light, defeating the madman. As the base is about to be destroyed, Ryu, Guile, Chun-Li, and Li Fen escape. Chun-Li is slow to catch up, so Ryu uses his Denjin Hadoken to stop the fires from the explosion. After the incident, Ryu is meditating. Ken visits him for the second time. He challenges him for a friendly sparring match, as he tells Ryu to prove if he already found his answer, Ryu is able to defeat Ken, as Ken also manages to knock Ryu's red headband. As it falls on the ground, Ryu realizes that he already found the answer to his true strength. As he gets his headband, Ken is happy to see his friend has grown, and Ryu also says that he still needs his headband for the battle. The two are later seen having a friendly fist bump with each other. In the Street Fighter 3, at the age of 33, Ryu continues his traveling day to day with the aim of becoming a true warrior. Since Ken is now the father of a child, their relationship has deteriorated. After a long time from being home in Japan, he is summoned to a hot spring inn, where Ken wishes to meet him and introduces him to his new student, Shan Matsuda. Ryu enters the Third World Warrior Tournament to further advance his fighting abilities. His most notable fight during the tournament is against Hugo, who is able to withstand his Shin Shoryuken and hold his own. He continues his travels afterward, meeting Oro along the way. Ryu ends up being defeated by Oro, who likes him to be his successor. Ryu later fights against Shan, who has been asked by Ken to fight him. Ryu easily defeats him from time to time, with just a single Hadoken, as he noticed his actions. Ryu also serves as Hugo's pro wrestling tag team partner for a brief period of time before moving on, also shown in Hugo's storyline. A year later, Ryu meets up with Ken for a friendly match in the latter storyline, from which he emerges the victor. At some point, he encounters Alex, whom he solidly defeats. Ryu encourages the young wrestler to continue honing his abilities against strong opponents. Fascinated by Ryu's skill and determined to become stronger, Alex soon sets out to find Ryu for a rematch. In Oros' ending, Ryu is shown training, but is unaware of Oros' presence 
as he has only heard his voice. In his ending, Ryu is under a waterfall practicing his mind and body. He mumbles about the meaning of a true warrior, why he needs to be strong, and reminisces his youthful days. A single leaf falls over him, and he crushes the leaf with his left hand. Ryu believes that as long as his strong opponents and some fierce battles will excite him, he will possess the strength to move even one of his fingers, and decides to keep on fighting. What did you like about this episode? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. We want to invite you to our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.